You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party. Some of you may remember, well, very few of you actually, may remember Keith Champagne. Keith was probably one of the top five most impressive activists who stood up for Ed and Elaine Brown. The Plainfield couple were tax protesters, and in 2007, they were in the middle of a trial, which they stopped attending, and then led a sort of eight-month-long, maybe nine-month-long, standoff with the feds at their property. Both sides sometimes denied that it was a standoff. I like to call it a velvet standoff. It was sort of a New Hampshire-style standoff, where the feds proceeded cautiously and in a relatively... <laughs> Sorry, my laptop just fell. Uh, in a relatively humane manner. Now, yeah, I mean, when you compare it to Lavoy Finicum or Waco. Anyway, Keith gave me... I don't know if I have a picture of him or not, but if, if so, it will pop up now. If not, you'll be stuck with my picture. Keith, in his email, wrote me, quote, I have been keeping in touch with Danny and Jason and have recently established contact with Elaine. Unquote. Danny Riley and Jason Gerhard were two Elaine and Ed supporters who were arrested and given lengthy prison sentences. Keith goes on, quote, I contact Ed only sporadically as I have come to the conclusion Ed is slightly crazier than when he went in. Even Elaine has had a falling out with him. They haven't spoken to each other in years, and she doesn't care to. It's funny how time changes people. She tells me when she gets out, she just wants to go live her life away from all this. Hopefully you notice I said when she gets out. I am not sure you know this, but there is a better than average chance they will all be getting released soon. They are all waiting on the Supreme Court to rule on the Demaya case. Everything right now is pointing on DeMaia winning his argument, and if that happens, they will all be released. In fact, there are thousands of prisoners that may be released if DeMaia wins. The Supreme Court is out due uh, the Supreme Court is due out with their opinion on the case any day now, literally. Danny thinks they are holding it until June, the end of the term, before releasing it. That also leads us to believe it is a DeMaia win. This all has to do with the Johnson ruling the Supreme Court had two years ago. It would probably take me longer to explain than it will take the court to decide if you don't already know about it. Unquote. So I don't know what the Demaya case is. Let me Google it. Hmm. When I Google Demaya, uh, or some more specific term actually, I wind up with some stuff about immigration cases. I don't know why this would be relevant. Keith must know something more than I do. Anyway, let's hope for the sake of these thousands of people that he's right. That would be a truly first-rate thing to see Ed and Elaine out, as well as hopefully Danny and Jason. Other than Jason, none of them hurt anybody, and the harm that Jason did was an accident. He was in a vehicle. He was in a motor vehicle wreck. This video is brought to you by ForkFest.Party. It's gonna be a party.